<laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting limiter, but. <laughs> All right, so the JZX100 Chaser, we put the new engine in it. We did the whole Toro V conversion. It's been kind of sitting in the corner ever since because we've been so busy with just everything else. And I've been dying to make this thing look not so grandma spec. Right now, it literally just looks like a Camry. And to do so, we got a lower wheels and an aero kit. I was waiting for the kit to come in and do it, but it looks like it's taking way too long and I'm over it. We built the wheels for it a couple weeks ago and now we're going to put them on. So we're going to lower it on coils and put it on wheels. Yes, another wheel and coil video. I know we've been doing a lot of those lately, but hey, it's part of the process. And honestly, it's one of the most fun ones because it's like the biggest transformation in one day. So today's that day because uh, she's fast. Now she's got to look fast. Eh? It's just a procedure. No, a step. A step. Of every build. You got to do it. Got to do it. This thing is so damn good. I <laughs> forgot. It's so good. I know. We're like looking at it. We're like, why the hell have we not touched this thing? We just haven't had a moment. We're waiting for the right things to line. And we just built the wheels for it. Yeah. They know what wheels it. Yeah. You guys know. Them. You guys, we talked about. You know what wheels are going on in this thing. If they don't sleep, they've seen them already. <laughs> this thing is so loud. We got to hit. We gotta fix that. That looks crazy on here. I think my Duramax would look smaller on this lift. So if you guys have been watching the videos, you know I already spoiled it. What wheels we put on this thing? Another set of Blitz 03s. Boom. We talked. We talked about this. I know they're a little played out, but they do look good. And I had the faces laying around for a very long time. Couldn't find any good wheels to buy, so I just built wheels. Right? So you guys saw us build these up. These are 18 by nine and a half. So 17 inch faces stepped up to 18 inch wheels. Uh, I think the offset is around like plus 32, which is fantastic because chasers, unless you want to add extra camber, um, they really don't like anything more than plus 20. Like plus 22 is like aggressive, mm. right? You, it's surprising. Yeah. So uh, if you guys want to know, we got these lips and barrels in Harbor, brand new from three piece .us. Uh, we love the quality, super nice, strong, thick lip on it. So if you ever curve these things, you can kind of, you know, sand them down. Support your local polisher. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a, it's a funny concept, but it, it, it happens. You let your girl take a car to McDonald's. That's that's it. That's Dude, it. Everybody, <laughs> I don't care if you're the best car enthusiast in the world. If you've have you been driving like lower cars long enough, you've curbed one of your wheels. Yeah. We've all yep. done it. The drive through at Starbucks. <laughs> McDonald's. You, you'll never go back to that Starbucks again. So beautiful quality pieces, and uh, the wheels built up really nice. And honestly, I think the set look looks pretty damn cool. Yeah. So. Silver on silver, you can't beat it. Damn, dude, you're really original. No, we said a silver L3. <laughs> <laughs> I have two sets, okay? We built the set for the fifth inning because the same concepts. All right, whatever. <laughs> it's gonna work. One piece wheels are, are hard to find right now. Yes, there's a lot of good wheels that look good on it. Send me a link, all right? <laughs> look at this thing. Look at this. I've been dying to take this off. Doing it? Yes, now is the time, bro. What if bro. somebody opens up their door near you? All right, do it. Yep, you got it. Oh, well, we've probably all seen it before, but they have a big ass wheel of rubber, right? That's what a lot of guys will use, or body shops will use to actually get the adhesive. It's an eraser wheel. It's an eraser wheel, same right? Same thing that's on the back of your pencil. Yeah, Pretty same much. thing, just big wheel on your drill. But a lot of the guys don't have those and you really can't find them in too many stores. But I saw this hack on TikTok. Yeah, so if you own a tire shop, yeah. Well, I mean, you can get this <laughs> advanced, right? So this is just, I mean, it's literally a chunk of rubber, right? So essentially it's the same thing. Just don't do it on the bumper. Yeah, only on metal parts, so ready? Oh yeah, look at that. It's working great. It actually works like this. That's sick, it's better than rubbing your skin away on your thumb. Just be gentle, because you could definitely burn your paint very easily, and no one wants that. I can't believe this is working this well. Look at that. And slower might be better. Yeah, look at it. Yeah. It loves it. That is so sick. What it would. You ever seen this one before, huh? Yeah, dude. You gotta no, spend more time won't. on TikTok, son. You should just go by the racer wheel at Pain World, dog. We well, I have this here. You have it? I have it. Work smarter, not harder. This is <laughs> working great. I'm here for the people. I'm trying to show you guys what to do. A little bit of tough stuff, and it just all melts away. So it looks like the fender was actually re-cleared with those things on, so there's like a line right here, but we should be able to wet sand and buff that line out and make it look normal, but you probably can't even tell on camera. So guys, if you wanna try it out, because it does save a lot of time, you can get these at like your local auto parts store, right? It's just a wheel valve stem. Take your time, be patient. 
don't burn your paint and uh, don't use it on bumpers because it will damage the paint on the bumper for some reason. Cheat code of the day via TikTok. <laughs> That thing's too close to my head, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> All right, of course, guys, we went with a set of BC racing coilovers. We always do BCs, and we always get a lot of like, oh, oh, another set of BCs, oh. We've tried so many different coilovers. Good product. Good product. Tried That's what I was saying. So we found out what we like, and we use it, right? I don't know. There's some companies that like, they're good at making one coilover for one chassis, like just to have that one chassis figured out. I've never had a set of BCs that don't feel awesome on a car, so. We got BCs. Oh, a fresh box of BCs. Everyone loves it. Open it up. You guys have seen it before. Peanuts. Peanuts. Signature gold and black. It's like rose gold. It's light. It's nice. It's nice. They're good units, dude. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so one thing to be mindful of on the JZX chassis before you get coilovers in it is this little upright arm right here, right? So this kind of becomes an issue on certain size wheels and at certain ride heights, right? With your wheel offset, it could actually hit this mm. Mm, pretty easily. Mm, not good. So be very mindful of too high of offsets because the wheel will actually hit that. And on top of that, um, when we lower it, this will actually get really close to the top of our strut tower. So if we go too low, it could hit the strut tower, cause noise, probably dent it and it'll be really freaking annoying. So a lot of guys will shorten these and a lot of companies do sell pre-shortened ones. It's something we're gonna look into, uh, but for now, I just, we, this is our first free day to do this. On top of that, there is no camber adjustment in front or rear on these cars, right? You can't do it by adjusting the top hat like a lot of cars because there is an upper arm right here. This is what you adjust your camber, right? So a lot of companies sell adjustable ones. I know FDF actually sells a beautiful one for the rear. They sell a really nice set of rear arms. I'm getting them to work on a set of front arms too. So hopefully those are out too, because I know they're usually pretty damn expensive and FDF is priced pretty well. So we'll go through this. Boom. You got the nuts on. A little bit more. Quarter pump. One more pump. Right there. <laughs> Boom. That's it. Just make sure you tighten everything. All right. So the rear, extremely similar. So let's use some YouTube magic. Boom. That's it. BC's installed. Obviously, our alignment's going to be. Obviously our alignment's gonna be messed up. It's part of the process. When you lower a car, your alignment's gonna be screwed. So be prepared to need an alignment when you lower a car, or you're also gonna ruin your tires like DJ. So I wanted to show these off real quick. These are the FDF rear arms. But this is the way to add camber to your car if you buy wheels that are too big and you need to make them fit, or you just like camber, or you wanna get rid of your camber, right? Square it up. So I'm not actually gonna install these today because we're gonna drop the whole rear end out very soon because it needs a new diff, new bushing, second mount. It needs the whole ordeal. We're gonna save these for the fresh rear end, but just check these things out. Such a beautiful product. Since we're dropping this thing for the first time with some big old wheels, uh, we gotta roll the fenders because if you look under here, Steve, there is a huge lift. Look at that. Man, is it focused? I can't, how does one, oh? Uh, Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, I Things see it. Huge. huge. So that's probably 20 mils. Yeah. And obviously if you don't roll that in, it's gonna hit the wheel itself, right? You guys have seen us roll fenders a million times. They have that big fender roller thing. It's like an arm, right? And it goes, yeah, pause, but uh, it works. I don't personally like using it because the arches are never square. So you always end up having tight spots. You end up pulling your quarter and distorting it. Yeah. There's no one's patient enough to not do that. I do the good old heat your paint up so it doesn't chip, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Grab a hammer, wrap it in a rag, mm -hmm. and be patient and tap it shut. Patience. Oh.
As you can see, that big ass lip is no longer there, right? It's rolled. Don't pinch it too tight or else you kind of disrupt the integrity of Steve. What do you do? A lot of guys will pinch it really tight. Don't pinch it too tight or else you kind of lose the structural integrity of your arch and it kind of gets wavy. So, boom, fenders are rolled, coils are on. Time to put some wheels on. Time to make this Camry look like a... A Damry. A Damry, that's a good one, I like that. The best thing ever is you take an old crusty Japanese car and you shove brand new fancy wheels on it. Boom. Ooh, okay. The wheels look so small on this thing. The silver on silver really does it for Steve. I told you it's good. He's a silver guy these days. Silver on silver, so. That step lift is hard. It's so good, but it makes the wheel look so small on it. All right, let's get the wheels on and probably adjust ride height a million times. Oh, there we go. Oh, the front's sitting perfect. Yeah. Oh, that looks awesome. Awesome. Hey, the rear, maybe lower quarter. Pull it out, pull it out. Let's get away from the lift. Right there. <laughs> that is so crazy. It doesn't even look like this. It doesn't even look like the same car. What was that, Steve? Before it was a car, now it's a whip. Like, I like that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And it's cool. Yeah, maybe if it just had like OEM oh, side skirts. If it, if it just had OEM side skirts, that's, that's all. It, it needs something. In the middle. In the middle. I'm not too mad about the front okay. or the back. But we leveled the stance out and gave it a quick board alignment, and it. There we go. That's it. It looks so good. Like, uh, you don't see a lot of silver. Like, right? I don't, I never see silver chasers. It's always white, every single time. The car looks so clean right now. The wheels, having these bright new clean wheels makes the car look that much nicer. The paint is a little faded, but it is such a nice car. I'm so thankful for this chassis, but uh, there we go, boys. It officially looks like a whip, as Stevie says. It is no longer the dorky Camry in the corner. And honestly, like, besides looks, it's just gonna ride a lot nicer. The stock suspension was funny, um, but it was honestly sketchy. That much power with that suspension, it was just not good. So let's do a little bit of B-roll and uh, get a better look at it. And we're back and now the car is in the exact location where we started looking quite a bit different so there you go another wheel in coilover install video but uh i don't care these are like the the treat of the channel and in, in my eyes because this is like it's like your biggest transformation in just like a few hours right boom whole different car it is no longer your grandma's camry but uh it's it's obviously looks like it's missing something uh side skirts would do a hell of a lot Maybe if I could just find OE side skirts in the meantime, but honestly, the kit I ordered should be here. It's been like any week now for the last like month, but you guys know how that happens with parts from Japan. So couldn't be happier. Now what we have to do is we have to dial in the rear end, take it out, do all the reinforcement stuff, do all new bushings. So it's a little clunky right now and you could, and it's weak, you know, we're gonna grenade this diff very quickly if we don't reinforce it. And then probably redo the exhaust because it's, this car is way too loud. Like it's cool, but, not for a cruiser street car and like i mentioned before about shortening the upper arm right here or the actual upright arm 
we're gonna have to do it because uh, you could hear, when we hit big bombs, you could hear the arm just punching the top of the strut tower, which I would prefer not to have dents protruding from my strut tower. And that bump's annoying, but boys, what do you think? Love it. Love it? Love it. That's good. It's good, right? Can't wait for a type of arrow. And it's gonna go crazy, especially because I feel like silver is such a common color, but I can't picture another silver chaser on yeah, kit. You don't really see them often. Too often, usually you just get white. I can't wait to see the whole ass silver kit. And okay, I'm gonna shut up. But uh, today was a short video. We just banged this out, but using it to start the week off uh, ahead because we are so shot for the weekend. But the big thing right now is the E36. We are getting this thing ready for the track. It is stripped apart. We did all the sound deadening. There's a little bit more to do because there is an ungodly amount of sound deadening in the E36. Uh, but it is getting there. Uh, Cage should hopefully ship out this week. Oh, most of the parts should ship out this week, which is really good. The turbo shipped out already. E-brake shipped out. Angle kit ships out this week. I have the diff. We're getting there. We have a chassis harness coming in. We have the cage coming in. It's gonna be, once everything comes in, it'll be very fast. Uh, we're trying to bang this out, luckily, with me and Spoon both on it. E we're good, we're just waiting on parts. We're good, we'll bang this thing out, and I cannot wait to see it. And besides that, we really, I need to get the front end a little more dialed on the S15, and I have to just suck it up and bring this thing on the road. I'm so nervous, this car makes me so nervous. Last week, my anxiety, I, I did survive last week, yes, but. Whatever, I'll take it out this week and we'll do its first like victory drive and uh, do some street pulls with the VVL. And then maybe turn the boost up because I, I would really love to make 500 because it can on pump, easy. So, and on top of all the other nonsense, we gotta start working on the coupe because I don't wanna push this thing in the corner and just like forget about it. Um, we gotta get this thing on the frame machine first and before we start cutting stuff off, we gotta start pulling because if we cut stuff off here and we start pulling, everything's gonna pull in like a really inefficient, unnatural way but if everything's still connected and we pull it everything should move together in a very natural way that's the goal um unfortunately the more i look at it the worse it gets yeah so he's spoon shaking his head um i'm very worried that this side moved over too if this side moved over too if both moved over it will be an interesting battle um but if it's just this side we can make it work right we can make it work so fingers crossed for me we're gonna try to get on a frame machine if we can get on this week, that would be unreal. But we're gonna make some phone calls later tomorrow and uh, we'll figure it out, but <sighs> the poor coupe. We'll get to it. I'm actually kind of excited to see this thing with a lopped off front ends. Like, it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna have a good time, right? I'm ready for it. Are you ready for it, right? Yeah. You're ready for it. Yeah, Spoon's always ready. So for now, I'm gonna get home at this video. You guys know the deal. So uh, like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys very shortly.